The second of the four races on Kingston Blount is the Mary Everly Hunters Chase. One is Clash Williams Central, Padraig Hogan. Two, Oil Baron, Graham Clutterback. Three, Rab Corbett, Alex Cherry. Four, Lord of the Wind, Padraig Hogan. And five is Aspils, Obi-Wan. Five horses in this two mile seven event at uh, Kingston Blount for the Hunter Chase. And away they go. And on the inside, it's ice or on the outside, ice pulls for Obi Wan has quickly gone to the front from Rab Corbett for Alex Cherry. Uh, then comes Lord of the Wind for Patrick Hogan, who's starting to have a good season at the moment. He's had a lot of winners recently. Oil Baron on that one's outside, and Clash William Central at the back of the field. Bad jump, bad mistake in the front by Ice Pearls has allowed Rab Corbett to pass him. And it's Rab Corbett who's hard held, doesn't really want to be in the front. Rab Corbett now being joined again by Ice Pearls for Obi Wan. Three lengths back to Clash William Central for Patrick Hogan with stable mate. Lord of the Wind on that one's outside and a slow jump there by um, Rab Corbett um, has allowed Lord of the Wind to join that one for second and it's Ice Pulls and now as a clear leader from Lord of the Wind in second Rab Corbett going back up on that one's inside then Oil Baron for Graham Clutterbuck and at the back of the field Clash Willem Central for Patrick Hogan but it's only four lanes first to last year a uh, slow jump at the back of the field by Clash Willem Central there probably hindered by being on the heels of the horses in front of him though so it's Ice Pulls who leads for Obi-Wan from Lord of the Wind in second as they jump the next. A slow jump by Oil Baron. Rab Corbett was better in the air. Uh, past Oil Baron in the air. Uh, at the back of the field, Clash William Central for Patrick Hogan. So Aspel's in those yellow colours with the orange epaulets on the sleeve. Leads from in second uh, with Rab Corbett. It's on the inside of Lord of the Wind in the yellow colours and the black cap for Patrick Hogan. They're followed by Oil Baron in those blue colours with the red cap and red sleeves for Graham Clutterbuck. The only, well, one of the two dark horses in the race. On the inside of that is Clash Willem Central for Patrick Hogan. It's about six lengths first to last. With about two miles left to travel. And it's Ice Pearls who jumps next well from in second Rab Corbett. Lord of the Wind for Patrick Hogan back in third. Then Oil Baron for uh, Graham Clutterbuck. And the back of the field Clash Williams Central for Patrick Hogan. They're all in touch. They're all sort of a chance. Um, the jumping has been a bit sketchy by a few of them. But to be expected in a hunter chase, it's Ice Pearls who leads from Rab Corbett in seconds. They jump the next slow jump by the leader. Uh, good jump by the third horse, Lord of the Wind. Uh, gain some uh, ground on the two in front. Oil Baron on that one's outside. And uh, Clash William Central at the back of the field for Patrick Hogan. So it's Ice Pearls the leader for Obi Wan from Rab Corbett on his inside. Then comes Oil Baron, who's on the outside of Lord of the Wind. A bad mistake again by Ice Pearls. I lost some ground again on the on Rab Corbett, who's now gone to the lead. And uh, at the back of the field, Clash William Central has moved up on the inside of Oil Baron and Lord of the Wind. So Rab Corbett now has the advantage as they pass the halfway mark. Two lanes clear of Ice Pearls and some sloppy jumping has cost him the lead. Uh, three lanes back to uh, Oil Baron, who's on the outside of Lord of the Wind. And at the back of the field, Clash William Central for Patrick Hogan. It's about seven lanes first to last as Rab Corbett jumps it from Ice Pearls in second. Four lanes back to Lord of the Wind, who's on the inside of Oil Baron. And Clash William Central looks on from the rear of the field. With about ten furlongs left to travel. And Rab Corbett for Alex Cherry leads from Ice Pearls in second second slow jump by ice pulls another slow jump by ice pulls really the jump has let him down ice pulls lost a lot of ground in the air three lists back to lord of the wind oil baron on that one's outside and clash william central still at the back of the field but only eight lanes off this leader as Alex Cherry's wrap, Corbett reaches for that and has stood over it a long way. Managed to get to the other side though. Ice Pearls and that outside, but Lord of the Wind and Oil Baron are moving closer to the two in the front who have been really hindered by their bad jumping in the back of the field. Clash William Central and now Lord of the Wind breezes into the lead and really it's just been. It's easily done because both Ice Pearls and Rab Corbett haven't jumped that well and Lord of the Wind has come to the front and saunters into the lead from Ice Pearls in second. Then comes Rab Corbett on the inside. Oil Baron has also moved closer and Clash William Central no move from that at the back of the field. Another mistake there by Rab Corbett. So it's Ice Pearls in the lead from Lord of the Wind. Rab Corbett's his jumping has been letting him down. Then Oil Baron's been pushed along and Clash William Central's in danger and getting out of losing touch with the field at the back of the field. It's Ice Pearls. It comes to the next 
Smith jumps to the K from Lord of the Wound in second. Then Oil Baron, Clash Williams, uh, Oil, Oil Baron and Clash Williams Central at the back of the field being pushed along to try and prove. They've got five furs left to travel. It's Aspals in lead, but Lord of the Wound is travelling strongly in second. Pushed along in third, Rab Corwood. Oil Baron has been pushed along. The Doctor's been a work of that one for a long way to drag it closer. No move from Clash Williams Central at the back of the field. They've got four furs left to travel. It's Aspals in front from Lord of the Wound, who's still going strongly in second. Then comes Rab Corwood, Oil Baron. The Dockies have been willing to work at a hard, long time for Oil Baron, but now the horse finally gets the uh, message and Oil Baron has stripped into the lead for Graham Clutterbuck. They come to the next and Oil Baron jumps it slowly from on his inside. Aspils is still there. Rab Corbett is trying to rally back in fourth though. Lord of the Wind on the inside. Another jockey asks the question. He's not really responding, Lord of the Wind. In the back of the field, Clash William Central is getting closer, but Oil Baron has gone to the front, jumps that well and starts to stretch clear for Graham Clutterbuck. Oil Baron... The jockey was at a work for a long way out, but the horse finally got the message, and now Oil Baron is travelling strongly in front. Lord of the Wind in second. Then comes Rab Corbett. Clash William Central is running on from the back of the field. The jumper next, but Oil Baron jumps it well. And it's all Oil Baron now for Graham Clutterbuck. The jockey looks around. He'll see that everything else is struggling, and Oil Baron is going to win the Mary Reevely Hunters Chase for Graham Clutterbuck. Wins it comfortably in the end from the two Patrick Hogan horses, Lord of the Wind and Clash William Central. Rab Corbett back in fourth, and Ask Pearls finished back in fifth. And you've got to say that the two at the back of the field were let down by the jump in. Oil Baron was at the work a long way out. But he jockey, the horse finally responded and he wins comfortably for Graham Clutterback from Lord of the Wind who travelled well but found nothing under pressure. Clash William Central was a bit too far back for Patrick Hogan back in third.